Hello, I'm Don Bacon. I represent the 2nd District uh, in Omaha, Nebraska area. And I served nearly 30 years in the Air Force. I retired uh, after 16 assignments and as a one star. And I knew that our military was in dire need of help uh, in these last couple years. If you go back from 2010 till now, the military has been reduced in spending by 18%. And then we also had 37 continuing resolutions that also hurt the military. While we're fighting two wars, having to serve deterrence in North Korea, be due deterrence in the Baltics with Russia, really a worldwide obligation and responsibility. And the effects were terrible. Uh, today, roughly half the Navy aircraft can't fly in any given day. Uh, we have 58 combat brigades in the Army and only five are ready to fight tonight. That's not good for deterrence. Many of our fighter pilots in the Navy only get 11 hours of flying a month before they deploy. It's only one third of the training that they should be getting. We lost 80 people last year from training Many, many more people than we lost in combat. And many of those folks were killed because they didn't have the adequate training. So we know that we had to do better. You know, the Air Force is the smallest and the oldest it's ever been in its history. The Army, the smallest since World War II and the Navy since World War, World War I. And today we're voting on a, a defense bill that will help correct this path. We're gonna make a great course uh, correction. We're gonna plus, plus up spending by 10%. This is the biggest increase in a decade and a half. We're going to add people to share that burden of all these deployments more. We have the first pay raise that matches inflation that we've done in over a decade and a half. So this is a phenomenal bill for the families of our military. We're going to be plussing up stealth aircraft, getting more ships for a 355 ship Navy. And we're going to add cyber. We're going to be adding missile defense. And if we can sustain this spending with inflation over the next three or four years, our military will be healthy again. I believe in peace through strength. I believe that we need deterrence, and today deterrence has been undermined. Today's vote will help right this course and make our nation more secure.